we are going to discuss the acceleration of the fluid particle h today uh, in previous classes i have done one mistakes uh, mistake during this writing of this equation of this acceleration in x y and z axis so uh, thank you for the student who has informed me about this one suppose this is my profile so this is my x so this is my x this is my y and this is my so this is my z axis so this is my z axis so if a particle a fluid particle will be there suppose this fluid particle h so this component of the velocity in x direction is u the component of velocity in y direction that is called v and the component of the velocity of this fluid particle of fluid particle that is called w and the directional component the direction unit that i is the called position vector in x direction and j is the position vector in y direction and the k is the position uh, vector in z direction if you write the velocity uh, component of this particle in this flow field so this is u by k so this is v j k plus this one is w k k so this is equation 1 and we know this u v and w are the function of space and time so this is a function of x y z and time so as these are function of space and time so this velocity is also function of this is u v w x y z and t so this is a function of this so if one if you find the acceleration of this fluid particle this is dv by dt so we cannot do the direct derivative so we have to do the partial derivative so this change in velocity the change in velocity you can find out this is you have to do the partial derivative this is dv by dx into dx plus this is dv by dy into dy plus this is dv by dz into dz plus dv by dt into dt so this is the change in velocity so if you want to find out the acceleration acceleration is change in velocity by change in time so dv by dt so if you if you use this equation you can write dv by dx into this is dx by dt plus this is dv by dy into this is dy by dt plus this is dv by dz into dz by dt plus this is dv by dt into dt by dt so the acceleration we can rewrite this one as so dx by dt this dx by dt is nothing but this is the component of velocity in x direction so we can write u will be equal to dx by dt this v will be equal to this is dy by dt and this w is will equal to this one is dz by dt so this acceleration we can write this one as u into this is dv by dx plus this one is v into this is dv by dy plus this one is w into dv by dz plus this one is dv by dt so this is the acceleration equation by which you can find out the acceleration of the fluid particle okay so we are again rewriting this equation here this is acceleration will be equal to u into dv by dx plus this one is v into this is dv by dy plus into w into this is dv by dz plus this one is dv by dt so this is my final equation equation a so <clears throat> this part this from this part to this part this is called convective acceleration this is called convective convective acceleration and this part is called as local acceleration this is called as a local acceleration local or this is called temporal acceleration this is temporal 
temporal acceleration mean the acceleration which is changing with respect to space that is called convective acceleration and the acceleration which is changing with respect to time the velocity which is changing with respect to time that is called as local acceleration okay so if you want to write down this acceleration in x component so that is we can write down this one is du this is du by dt so du by dt if you write down this is comma to this is u into in place of b b is we can write down this is du by dx plus this one is v du by dy plus this one is w du by dz plus this one is du by dt so this is acceleration in x direction so if you want to find the acceleration in y direction so acceleration in y direction this is dv velocity of this component in y direction by dt okay here i have done the mistake here i have done the mistake that is we can write down this is u into dv by dx plus this is i have written dt this is d this is dx so this is v into dv by dy plus this is w into dv by dz plus this is dv by dt this is acceleration in y direction we found to find out acceleration in z direction that is dw by dt so this is u into dw by dx plus this is v into dw by dy plus this one is w dw by dz plus this one is dw by dt so this is the three component of the acceleration in x y and z direction so the acceleration field acceleration field so acceleration uh, we can write down in vector form so this is ax i cap plus this one is ay j cap plus this one is az k cap so this is the acceleration form we can write so if you want to find out this magnitude of the acceleration if you want to find out the magnitude that is nothing but this is ax square plus this one is a y square plus this one is a z square so this is the acceleration now if you take the case one okay if you want to take the case one so suppose you have taken this steady flow so if you take the steady flow the steady flow condition so steady flow condition we are ready to the acceleration is a part of this convective acceleration so this is convective convective acceleration plus this is local acceleration or this is called temporal acceleration okay this is the acceleration but in steady flow the change in velocity the change in velocity with respect to time with respect to time will be equal to zero so this is nothing but is called as local acceleration so this is local acceleration so if you so the net acceleration the total acceleration so the total acceleration is now only equal to convective acceleration for steady flow this is called convective acceleration okay so if you take uniform flow if you take the case 2 if you take suppose you take this case 2 this is case 2 if you take uniform flow so uniform uniform flow for uniform flow this total acceleration is this total acceleration is a uh, this is a addition of this convective acceleration so this is convective acceleration plus this one is local acceleration so for uniform flow the velocity change in velocity with respect to space with respect to ds with respect to space will be equal to zero so that is nothing but is called convective acceleration this is convective so this is zero now the total acceleration is equal to only local acceleration this is called local acceleration if you take case 3 if you take case 3 if case 3 is called for steady steady and 
यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो सो फॉर स्टडी एंड यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो बोथ आई टोल्ड यू बोथ दिस लोकल एंड दिस कॉन्वेक्टिव 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 एक्सलेशन इज जीरो इन फॉर स्टडी एंड यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो इफ यू टू आस्क इन ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन द टोटल एक्सलेशन विल बी इक्वल टू द टोटल एक्सलेशन विल इक्वल टू जीरो so for steady and uniform flow so all other thing i have explained i think it is um, it is completely correct but only i have done the mistake in this part to write down this equation in total acceleration so this is the uh, things for acceleration so next class i will talk about this uh, continuity equation okay continuity equation i will talk you so this is thank you